Hey, today's class is about pro touch-ups, okay? I'm going to show you some little touch-up tricks, um, all of the things about different tools that you're going to need and things like that. So it's going to be a fun um, and very educational video for you today. So um, there are four videos in my master class um, series, and you are... Um, encouraged, <laughs> I want to encourage you to go back and watch all of them because each one breaks down certain um, you know, categories of things that are uh, very important to creating looks and making you feel more confident. So my name is Margaret. I'm excited that you're here. I'm going to jump right into our um, training for today. I do want to remind you that you can get a um, makeup guide as a little freebie from me. Uh, this uh, link that I just posted there, I'm also going to put this in the description. So don't worry if it disappears, you'll be able to find it and get your free makeup guide. And that is spelled correctly. Directly, Vipe link with no I, lnk.com. So anyway, uh, make sure to get your freebie from me. I'd absolutely love to treat you to that. Um, and we're going to jump right in. So, okay, let's go ahead and check this out. Class number four, the Glam Touch Essential, essential uh, Brush Collection. So check out all of these brushes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you um, this uh, brush collection here and kind of what actually comes. I'm going to go ahead and this is the brush collection. Okay. And it's got a little zipper pouch and it comes with five brushes. So I just want to show you which ones it actually comes with. Um, so in this uh, set, you get an all over powder brush, you get a smudger brush, a cheek brush, and this is all over shadow, by the way, all over shadow, a um, smudger brush, a cheek brush, and then an all over powder brush, and then an eye crease brush. So those are the five that are included in this particular brush set. Now on the other side are all of the additional brushes that you can get if you wanted to um, kind of get a little bit more variety in the brushes that you um, want to have for your little makeup bag. Okay. So there are multiple brushes that you need, honestly, um, and you need multiples of the same type of brush. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Like, for example, the all over eyeshadow brush, you probably want several of those because, you know, let's just face it. We may not clean them every single day. You definitely want to clean them at least once a week with some kind of like Dawn um, soap, but we do have a brush cleaner, which I'll tell you a little bit more about in a bit, but we do have a brush cleaner that you can do daily. But when you're creating a look, like for example, with the look that I have on, you know, I used a couple different um, uh, shadows while I applying it, right? So as you can kind of see, I used I used a couple different colors, right? So if you have a light color that you're applying, you don't want to dip that into a dark color and then apply that. And then if you have to go back and apply the lighter color again, then you've got a brush that has dark color on it. You need to have multiples. So anyway, that's just my little pro tip for you <laughs> is that remember that you kind of need a few of the same type of brushes. All right. So let me get this back up here just so you can kind of see the customized collection is the one at the bottom. That's where you get all of these extra um, brushes on the side. There's lots of room in here to put a lot of different brushes. So anyway, I absolutely love uh, the variety and these particular um, brushes are um, uh, uh, sable and goat hair actually. And so they're very, very soft. No animals were harmed in creating them. <laughs> and so they are, um, they're just fantastic. And, um, with a guarantee, it's awesome. So you always know that, uh, you get that with, um, with Mary Kay. So, Okay, let me go ahead and go to the next slide and just show you a couple other of these um, gland touch up tips that I have for you. Um, first and foremost, yes, you have got to have a great foundation primer. Okay, so do you remember um, the foundation primer when I shared that with you um, on another video that's in the skin prep and flawless face video? Um, remember, you need to have that primer on your face before you put that foundation on because otherwise you're going to look like that orange. You're going to have foundation on top of all those pores and it's going to make the pores look even more defined. So when you have the primer on, it is going to help the foundation last longer and you're not going to have to use as much and it's going to look more, um, like airbrushed. Okay. So that's important. Now, the other thing I have to show you because it's just, I'm serious that it's too good to be true. Um, eye primer. If you don't think that you need eye primer, I'm going to show you really quickly that you do. <laughs> and the reason for that is eye primer. 
eye primer, just like the foundation primer, it does its thing, right? I'm going to, it has its job um, to prime the eye area. So I'm putting just a tiny bit and I'm going to literally just rub it up and down because I want to see, I want you to see where I'm putting it just on this little section here. Okay. And I'm just kind of tapping it too. Okay. So that's where I put the eye primer. Now, let me dry for just a moment. I'm going to take one of these colors here, the Merlot, just because it's very dramatic, right? I love this color. Um, and I'm going to tap it on to one of my brushes and I'm going to demonstrate this right now. Okay. So remember I had the primer over here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this um, shadow on this part of my hand that does not have primer. Okay. So there we go. See it? <laughs> so fun to do that on camera. Okay. So that's the color Merlot with no primer underneath. Now I'm going to go back into my Merlot, tap it a little bit. And now I'm going to go back where the primer was. The primer was where? Right over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Check it out. It's so different. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. So there you go. Primer. Do you see how it just gets more of the color to stay true on the um, on the hand? And over here, now you can really see in the light. So this is with primer. This is without. So that means if you want to achieve the color that you see here in your compact, then um, you're going to have to apply a lot more color to get that um, same depth of color. So with the primer, you're using less um, product. Okay. So that's something else to remember. And then it's just, it's truer to color. And you'll also kind of see, I don't know if you can really tell in the camera, but, um, if you see this like close up, this is really smooth. It kind of looks more like that orange, you know, that had the primer on it. Um, there's not, you don't see any pores or anything like that over here. You can kind of see the hairs and stuff and the, like the pores just don't, they look a little bit more apparent than on the side with the, um, with the uh, primer. <laughs> so there you go. That's my little primer trick. No primer and primer. Okay. So there you have it. All right. So that is another pro tip that you have to have eye primer. Um, essential. Okay. Let's take a look here next. Um, all right. Around the lip area. Um, this is a, a spot where sometimes we tend to, if we drink out of a straw, um, sometimes we're pursing our lips, right? We can, we can get, and just, you know, over time, uh, we can get those, um, little fine lines around the lip area. And I just want to show you that this TimeWise Repair Wrinkle Filler is a great product. It has hyaluronic acid in it and it can plump around the lip area. So if you have fine lines around the area of your lips, then I highly recommend this particular product. OK, and then our amazing under eye it's instant puffiness reducer. Oh my gosh. So this product comes in this little tube. It'll last you a while. Okay. Cause a little bit goes a long way, but, um, you can apply this and it will help with the puffiness underneath the eye area. So this is another pro tip. So if you have puffiness, um, this is definitely a product that will help you with that. All right. And then just to, uh, finish out here with, um, with just a few more, uh, tips for you setting powder. So so this translucent um, powder is something that um, I showed in the um, contour and define uh, video, but you would use this along with your all over powder brush, the big puffy one here, and really just kind of dust it on top of your makeup once you are done. And it's a universal powder. It will, it's finely, finely milled. So it's not going to show up in little, cr any cracks or crevices or anything like that, but you literally just kind of dust it on. It'll take away any shine. Um, and it just sets your makeup. So it stays, um, on longer throughout the day too. Um, okay. And then oil control. If you are my oily girls, go ahead and just like, give me a little shout out. If you are one of those oily girlfriends, then, um, you want to, uh, really consider <laughs> an oil mattifier. This is an ex for someone with extremely oily skin. 
And you would use this in addition to um, our matte uh, foundation. And the beauty blotters are another thing that's a must. So those just kind of help you throughout the day um, to uh, just kind of take a little bit of that shine, off, shine away if that's something that um, is a problem for you. Okay, so those are essential. If you've got oil control issues, this is the like the two must have um, products. Okay. All right. And then last but not least, uh, out of the brushes, one of the additional brushes that I mentioned was on the um, kind of opposite side here um, is the all over powder brush or no, I'm sorry, not the all over powder brush. I said that wrong. It is the blending brush. So take a look at the picture here. No blending and blended. Okay, so you see more of the shadow, kind of the line between the light and the dark color, right? So you, this is, you have to have this, like you just have to. It's the most amazing, um, super soft bristles, but it helps you as you're applying, especially different colors. You can do a wash of one color with it, which is really helpful to use this tool, um, or you can soften the edges. So when you apply a darker shade and then you have a lighter shade, this kind of helps to soften in between so that it kind of blends out super nicely. Um, and so the eye blending brush, I just feel like is kind of a must, a must have. I know all these things are just like, they're amazing. So anyway, um, let me just talk about these last couple ones, of course, cleaning the brushes. I'd already mentioned the brush cleaner. Um, it, that's something that you can do daily. Okay. Uh, using a brush cleaner. It's a little spritz. It's got some alcohol in it. So it will um, help kill the germs and all that good stuff. But most of all, I want to encourage you to really give them a nice, good cleaning with something like Dawn soap um, at least once a week. Okay. So that's important to do. Just get all of the gunk out of there. Um, so there's no bacteria that builds up or anything, but definitely once a week. Um, and every day, if you can just think of it after you've done your makeup, just kind of clean your brushes and then let them dry flat overnight and you are good to go. And then last but not least, the lasting powder. Uh, the lasting powder is our makeup finishing spray. So this is something that's actually good, not just for our oily skin girls, but for dry skin too. What it does is it helps to um, kind of seal in each layer. Okay. If you're applying um, uh, makeup and you have, you know, let's say you put on your um, moisturizer and then you're going to go ahead and put on your primer, you can do a little spritz of the makeup finishing spray, and then um, you can apply your next layer. And that will just give it that staying power. That's something thing that is good to do if you've got the oilier skin or if you are just looking to make it like a really glam look if it's like photograph day or you are um making um you know a uh, your look for, you know, going out, you know, date night, whatever, all that kind of stuff. It's good to kind of do that in a little bit of layering. So it does take a little bit more time, but you are going to notice that the, with the makeup finishing spray, I call it like hairspray for your makeup. It just kind of sets everything in and makes it stick. So it does not budge once you get it set the way that you want to. So anyhow, um, that is the, um, makeup finishing spray. You can also just kind of use it as a little refresher during the day too. So having a couple of those is actually really good. Um, if you fall in love with it, which I know you would, I'm sure if you tried it, because I absolutely love it. So anyway, um, so those are my pro tips. I hope that you found some of those helpful. Um, if you did go ahead and just kind of, you know, post in the, the comments there, give it, give the video a thumbs up, pass this along, of course, to a girlfriend, or um, if you're a beauty consultant, feel free to post it on your, um, you know, pages and stuff too. Uh, in your groups, you're welcome to share this video. And um, I want to pop, pop, pop up, pop up the um, makeup glide, glide, hello, Vipe link makeup guide. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This is fun. Um, Vipe link that is spelled correctly. It's L N K no I, and then uh, .com forward slash makeup guide. This is your little freebie that you can get from me. Um, so feel free to do that. Of course I were, well, if you want to learn more about any of these products, feel free to check out the description um, and uh, see the links down there. And then, of course, get your little freebie guide. And you know what? I think I'm going to wrap up with this last thing I want to show you. So you can kind of see how we've been doing this makeup masterclass. So I hope that from the beginning, um, you really just found simple ways to um just give your give yourself the confidence that you need to 
to create looks in a very simple manner, okay? That it's not complicated to do makeup, okay? Um, if you do it step-by-step step and uh, go back and watch the videos. The first one was all about eyes. Um, as you can see in this uh, picture here, those are all the products that I used in that particular video. The next one is the Skin Prep and Fla Flawless Face. Those were all the products I used in that video. And so each of those um, quadrants there shows you the products that I utilized in, um, in the video. So you have this to reference. It is in the, the skincare guide, or you can um, ask your consultant uh, for this as well. And um, anyway, it just shows you all the fun things. So this would just be something that you could reference um, as well as you're kind of updating your makeup bag. I call it, you know, shaking up your makeup. So you want to um, just take a look and see what things you need to refresh. Um, and then hopefully these videos have been helpful for you to um, have the techniques that you need um, uh, and desire to create the flawless looks and make it simple and easy for you to do on a regular basis. So. Um, Thank you for joining and uh, remember to go back and watch those videos. If you haven't, um, they'll be in a playlist as well. Uh, but uh, there's there's four of them and I hope you find them informative. So remember to like and drop a comment, share this with a girlfriend and I will catch you.